Hi, welcome to the ASP.NET web form and entity framework learning by example project. And in this video today, I would like to show you how to create a data model for the project to work with the database. Okay, so in the first day, we have finished the, to create the, the, the table in the sequence server. And today, we will use the Visual Studio to create a data model for the mapping between the uh, project solution with the database. Okay, so now let's get started. I will close this one first and open the Visual Studio. This one is a solution we are working on. So now I will create a folder and name it is a model. Okay, so now I will open the sequence server 2014 is the version I'm using. Okay, so this one is the server name. I will back to the Visual Studio and I right click on the model folder I have been created and select the app and I will select the new item. I will select the data underneath of the Visual C -SAP. Here I will select the ADO.NET Entity Data Model. Okay, enter the name for this model. I will enter name either V8 V8 Sci Model. And on the uh, Entity Data Model wizard here, so I will select the Entity Framework Designer from Database. There is a default option. Click on Next. And here in the in this step, we have to select the uh, uh, we have to enter the information of the sequence database server. Okay, so now I click on the new connection. And the server name, I will copy this one is chienvs-pc. And the authentication, I will select the sequence server authentication. And after that, I have to provide the account for the FA and the path code is for this one. Oh, sorry, wrong. and click on save password in the connect to database i have to select a database name you want to be working on here so now the database we have finished to create in the first day is the vsi db so now i go ahead to select this one after that i click on the test connection button on the left corner here yeah you can see here we have a test Connection succeeded, meaning for now you are able to uh, do the, the connection between the Visual Studio to the sequence server database. Click on OK button to finish the configuration. Okay, so on this step, you can select the No Exclude Sensitive Data from the Connection String, uh, and I will set it in my application code later. Okay, so if you select this one, so the the, the password of the sequence server still not uh, include in the web web config file in the connection string. You have to provide it uh, later when you are writing the code. Uh, otherwise, when you select the it include the sensitive data in the connection string. So that it will include the the password you have just enter in the uh, previous uh, step into the connection string file. A connection connection string in the web config file, so you no need to uh, to to, to uh, enter it later in the database when you are uh, it, you no need to enter it later when you are doing the coding in the application. Okay, so now I will click on next button here. On this step, you have to select the which version of the uh, entity framework you want to be working on. So here I will select the default is the version E6. Click on next button. On this on this uh, on this step we have to select the 
object you want to be uh, include in your model. There are something in tables, view, and store pr procedure and functions. And now, because for now we have only the table had been created in the first day, so I will select the table only. And the model namespace here, we left it by default. Click on finish button. Yeah, so after that, it will take a while for the uh, Visual Studio to do the calculation and adding the model into the project. It's still uh, working. Okay. You can see here for now all of the model from the database has been added into this project. And the next step you have to save this one. Okay, save already. Close this. And after that you have to build the solution. Okay, cool. And here, underneath of the model folder, we have a model file in VSI model.edmx file extension. And we have some the model in category, contact us, news, order, order, detail, product, users. Okay. And you open the web dot config file here. You scroll down to see something here. Yes, you can see here under the connection string uh, element here. It have a property e a a line e add and the connection string. Metadata here, yeah. so data shop and the username, password, and provider, blah blah here. Okay, there is the condition string uh, configuration for uh, to make the um, Visual Studio project to do the mapping into the sequence server okay okay so i think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to create a data model for your project and uh, we will working on the data model to uh, to create the data to do some action for create delist and modify question later in another video okay so I hope this video will be helpful for you and let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye. Talk to you later.